one of the things that's important to realize that when you are using um, 3D um, hanging positions, um, when you attempt to add an instrument to that 3D only hanging position, you'll find that the instrument won't associate itself with that um, hanging position. Um, so if you were to look at the instrument itself, you'll see that it hasn't inherited the height of the truss, which is um, 500 mil, and it also hasn't taken on its position name. Um, if you were to select the truss or the hanging position, you'll see that there's no um, um, little um, check mark um, that um, tells you that the um, instrument is hanging on the, um, or is associated with the hanging position. So let's delete that instrument. Um, or what you can do <laughs> before I do that is if, if you were to select the um, hanging position and if you were to now give it, um, give all of those objects um, some 2D geometry by um, unchecking the draw 3D only box, press OK, you will find that if you were to select the um, instrument and then just nudge very gently that instrument um, over the hanging position, it will inherit the um, height and also the position. Um, but there's a problem with that, obviously, because if you now want to, if you want to rotate that um, um, position um, in a 3D view, um, you will find that um, the, um, let me just take that, put that into screen aligned, you will find that you will get this hybrid objects can only be rotated on a plane parallel to it, the active layer plane. So what you have to do is to remove that um, geometry. So let's just go back um, and let's select these um, truss objects and put draw 3D only. But what the lighting device um, tool is looking for is some planar geometry. So we have to give it some planar geometry. Uh, so if you select the trusses and you were to go add center line or put the center line in, uh, you can see some planar geometry has gone in. Now this geometry isn't part of the screen plane. Um, it goes in with the symbol. So if I was to rotate around, you can see that that planar geometry is rotating as well with the, um, the rest of the 3D geometry. Um, and if I was to exit out of there, you can see it now. So if I was to delete that, instrument and I was to put a new one in and if I was to snap um, onto that geometry there you will see that it has accepted um, the position name and also inherited the height as well and of course uh, because this is planar geometry um, on um, the symbol plane or um, maybe the layer plane if you want to put it that way um, and you were to now rotate the hanging position uh, make sure you have screen aligned here um, and you select the object and you just go minus 30 you will see that the um, instrument has also um, taken on um, associated itself and will lift uh, accordingly with the rotated hanging position. Um, I hope that helps.